biblioteca. It's an illustrated book about birds. That's been left open. Looks like somebody was halfway through reading it. Or it was left open for us to find. Ever so slightly unnerving. Este es el pájaro rojo y blanco que estaba pintando el otro, ¿no? El baño tinta es un pájaro notablemente inteligente que vive muchos años, incluso para tratarse de un ave mística. Mística. A menudo las otras aves son agresivas con él, por lo que el baño tinta suele pasarse la mayor parte del tiempo de su vida solo. Tiene unos hábitos alimentarios peculiares y por lo general solo come semillas de la tatun amica en la ilustración. Eh... ¿Os dais cuenta de que la pluma parece el cuchillo del cuadro? Igual no es un cuchillo, igual es una pluma del pájaro. Vaya, oh, qué cosas. Oh, galán, oh. Curioso. Pájaros, árboles, castillos, montañas, bichos, estrellas. Is that a snow? Of sorts. Ojo, qué guapo. Hey, look at that. It's a model of Tangle Tower. There's a lake and those weird mountains. What are you thinking? That would make an amazing souvenir. A guapo. Uh. I'm not sure. Ojo, un souvenir. Manda Soil duelo. samples. Books about ancient history? These books are ancient history. I think they'd crumble into dust if I tried to pick them up. Good excuse. Thanks. Books about insects. Well, theoretically, there's not a single book on that shelf. Huh. Sure, why not build a science lab in the corner of the library? The search for new knowledge. The archiving of old knowledge. It's downright poetic. A ver, niño. Curious. I would expect bacteria of that nature to thrive in these conditions. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Taking all the environmental factors into account, there must be something I am still missing. Uh, may I talk to you, miss? She knows we're here. She just doesn't care. I am a detective, and I need to talk... Correction. You do not need to talk to me. Oh, no? How come? Because I am not a suspect. I am completely innocent of any and all crimes. Thanks for letting me know. Speaking of which, you have now been at Tangle Tower for over 23 minutes. Surely you have already reached a sturdy hypothesis. A hypothesis? About the murder? Yeah, yeah come on, Grimoire, hurry up. up. My apologies. Unfortunately, protocol dictates I must at least meet all the suspects. And that includes you. So, uh... Could you tell me your name? Esta estaba en una de las fotos con la vista. Vi microbiologist, inventor, innovator. Hasta luego, Ikeras. You will need to Gracias be more specific. One sentence cannot be summarized in a single response without doing one a great disservice. So true. Well, first of all, you're a fellow. So does that make you the daughter of... Correct. My father and mother are named Flora and Felix. But you need not question either of them. It will only waste valuable time. Neither of them are capable of murder. Thanks for the tip. Fifi, you said you were a micro... something or other? Microbiologist. But it is an insignificant label. My studies cannot be categorized in any one recognized field. What made you want to become a scientist in the first place? I harbor an intrinsic fascination with the microscopic. I constructed my first one at age 10. Constructed... a microscope? Correct. And what's that thing on your head? Did you make that too? My eyesight began to deteriorate when I turned 12. Not satisfied with the eyeglasses prescribed to me, I designed this custom lens instead. It automatically adjusts based on the surrounding light conditions. Does it glow red when you get angry? No. But that would be most amusing. What can you tell me about the murder? What can you tell me about... Wait, that's what I'm supposed to ask you. Yes. However, you were too slow. You fancy yourself a detective too, Fifi. I just need to know what happened. Me too. So talk. Fine. 
I knew ahead of time that Freya was going to be busy with her painting all day, so I had planned to spend the afternoon with Poppy. I was in the library all morning preparing the equipment for an experiment, only to find out that Poppy had made other plans and she was, in fact, planning to ignore me completely. Oh. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? I don't know, it just sounds kind of sad. It is not unusual. Oh. Good. I was in my room. The lights were off and the door was locked. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it. Until the someone began shouting at me. I opened the door. Poppy came into my room. Her makeup was leaking. She told me Freya was dead. I did not believe it. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. Could eat this. She insisted that we go up to Flora's tower. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. When I saw Freya lying on the floor, I was completely and utterly devastated. Then, I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. Poppy and I took the sample back downstairs to the library. We performed a test and found out that it was, in fact, blood. You performed that scientific test immediately, even though you were feeling so upset? Of course. Why would one affect the other? Vale, entonces esta sube justo antes de que suba este. Vale. La otra ya estaba arriba. Fifi's bedroom should be unlocked now. Can't wait. Vale. Mira. Flora. Cuarto de Fifi. It's a magnifying glass. How come you don't have one of those? Why? Because I'm a detective? Should I start smoking a pipe too? Ha <laughs> ha! You couldn't pull off a pipe. No sabrías vender hostia. Okay. It looks like a microscope, a big one. Can I touch it? Uh, I'm not sure this is a microscope. Desliza horizontalmente las cuatro lentes de aumento hasta las posiciones correctas. Sí, ya sé que abajo está el original, estoy intentando hacer esa forma. Sí, también veo el aumento escrito en las lupas.
that's the one. Hey, not bad. But Sounds like it unlocked. Yeah, it's built on top of a little metal box. There's a book in here. El libro. Diario secreto. Un libro con uso. Parece un diario. Está cerrado con un extraño dispositivo de metal. Ah, muy bien. No lo puedo ir. A pretty ornate window. We're supposed to be looking for clues, not... And over here, you'll see the owner's use. A simple trick, but it really transforms. What's that big book on the desk? Looks like something Fifi's been writing. Is it a clue? I hope not. It's just a bunch of notes about her microbiology experiments. What's that big book? Looks like something... It's just a bunch of notes about her... A new suspect! Don't oh, think you can get out being questioned just because you're a bear. I'm innocent, I promise! Save it for the judge! Fifi's got something pinned up here. What is all this? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Quién está liado con quién? ¿Qué por qué estamos? Is that supposed to be me? Why do I look so angry? That's just the face you make when you're thinking. It does make you wonder though. When did Fifi draw all this? And that's you, Sally. What? I do not look like that. Do I? That's gotta be Flora. Who's that? Not sure. Who is that? No idea. Who's that? Not sure. Who is that? No idea. Did you notice who isn't on here? Que vaya bien. Okay, cut. Freya? Mm-hmm. And Fifi. Scientific formulas. Probably. I'll openly admit I have no... Me he perdido algo. No hemos encontrado más gente, así que por ahora no. Uh, alguien. Plaza de piedra. There's a metal plaque on the bench. Is there a message in I think there was at one point, but someone scratched it off. Hola, señor. Well, nice cake. Este You're not fellows or pointers. I'm sure I shall immediately regret asking. But who are you, and what is your business here? I'm Sally, and this is my sidekick, Grimoire. A private detective, Grimoire. Really? You're a detective. If this is a joke, it's not a good one. <clears throat> Who are you anyway? Private Detective Hawkshaw. Oh, nice. Hawkshaw's a cooler name than Grimoire. Maybe I'll become her sidekick. You're not on the Freya Fellow case, too, are you? That is classified information between myself and my client. Clearly, this is something which eludes you. But a real detective refrains from handing out information to persons unknown. Oh, right. Now, if you would, I have work to do. It's not in my interest to discuss personal details. Even if you're one of the suspects in a murder? <sighs> Very well. Let us make a small exception. Ask. Well, what are you doing here? I'm on a case at the behest of my client. How long have you been at Tangle Tower? 133 hours. Uh, five and a half days. Who are you working for? I am not at liberty to answer that. Now, I shall permit you one more question. Si no what what crime crime are you? How'd you get that scar? It's cool. You really think so? As it happens, I completed an examination of Flora's room on the morning before the murder. I've been investigating every single room at Tangle Tower. Hers was one of the last on my list. Did you find anything unusual? Nothing but a thin layer of dust and an atmosphere of somber melancholy. Was Flora in there at the time? She spent the duration of my search staring up at the sky, out the open window. Didn't say a word, although I'm told this is the expected behavior. What did you do after that? 
I spent the early evening searching the library. Quiero volver a la it took longer than it should have. Fiona leaves that room in a permanent state of disarray. Fiona was in the library too? I expected her to make an appearance, but she did not. And you stayed in the library the rest of the day? Not quite. Towards the early evening, my examination of the library was unexpectedly disrupted. Sounds of running, wailing, shouting from several floors above. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. He emerged from the Pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. Our eyes met. He was breathless. Something had caused him great alarm. He told me to stay out of the way. I consented. I decided to return to my office in the Stone Square. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. She was clutching the banister of the Pointer Staircase with an apprehensive manner. She wished to know where Professor Pointer had gone. I told her what had transpired. Then, she too crossed the hall and disappeared up the fellow staircase. More so than at any moment prior, I felt like quite an intruder in the house. I took my leave, out towards the stone square. The grounds were silent. There were no signs of human life. Even the greenhouse was without its typical inhabitant. I noted that he, too, must be entangled in whatever was transpiring in Fellow Tower. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. He spoke to me of what had occurred. His report was as clumsy and cumbersome as the man giving it. Did he seem upset? He was rattled. That much was clear. But sorrowful? Mournful? I cannot say. Uh-huh. Vale, gracias. A wooden trunk that opens up into a full desk. I want one. Is that a... If it is... I'm guessing it doesn't tell the time. So what does it do? No. Nope. Oh, you know. So moving any of the hands turns the adjacent hands in the opposite direction. Ah, este it's es el like seis. cogs on a machine. Este es el nueve y este es el seis.
pero yo pensaba que el 9 era este y que el 6 era este. Tengo que tirar para el otro lado, ¿no? That's the one. Hey, not bad. Ya está, ya está, ya está. Me he equivocado. What's in the box? Ya está. A little tool, but I'm not actually sure what it is. Una pequeña herramienta de latón con una lente curva de cristal tiene un tornillo en la base. Vale. A giant. AKA a greenhouse. A ver. Ya, digo yo, no hay nadie en el invernadero, no, una mierda, no hay nadie. A little chart of, actually, I have no idea what it's about. Vamos a ver qué es esto. Kind of reminds me of a periodic table. Sí, eso estaba pensando yo. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. ¿Qué puede ser? What do you make of it? Not a whole lot. This one's in a little pot. Okay, that is definitely not edible. It looks like a gemstone, don't you think? Una fruta en una maceta con una pintura similar a una gem. La tierra de la maceta es de un color azul y luz igual. Hanging baskets. To you, maybe. You're only two inches taller than me. Two inches makes all the difference. It's bigger in here than I thought it would be. It's bigger in here than I thought. Tools used by a gardener for gardening. Sally, don't move. We're being watched. Yeah, I see him. He's a little too big to hide in the bushes. Is anyone going to say anything? Or shall we just stand around staring at each other? Right. Sorry. Sorry. That's better. I'm Sally. And the guy hiding behind me is Detective Grimoire. Who are you? Fitz Fellow. The gardener. Mm hmm. And why are you so tall? I don't know. You work here as the gardener. I don't get paid to do it. It's just my area of interest. What's the deal with the plants? They're all kind of weird. Right. Did you see the lake? That giant green and purple lake surrounding the entire house? Yeah, I clocked it. The color is just a byproduct. Of what? Poison? It's not poisonous. Not to you. Uh, what's this got to do with the plants? The water controls all life, just like anywhere else on the planet. Clouds form, rain falls. The water grows the plants, animals eat the plants. Anything you've perceived as an irregularity is simply a result of this hydrological cycle. Could you say that again, but like, condense it? As if you were talking to a slightly stupid person our lake water causes the unpredictable alteration of dna sometimes alteration like mutation that'd be the official term for us it's normal just nature and you're the local expert on all this stuff no i'm just the gardener i was in my greenhouse watering and weeding Sounds exciting. Was anyone else around? Not at first. Penelope came in a little later. She likes looking at the flowers, I think. Pero Penelope Did you de la torre de los speak pointer? to each other? A little, not too much. We both left the greenhouse in the early afternoon. I went up to my room. Then I came back outside to weed the main gardens. Didn't see anyone else. After that, I went up to the garden outside my room. And? Let me guess. Watering and weeding. Right. Did anything happen to you yesterday, Fitz? I was up in the rooftop garden. It was quiet. And then El otro tío it dijo wasn't. No había... I can't describe it. Could have been a scream. No había but nadie. it didn't sound ni en la ni en el We thought it was coming from Flora's tower. So we went up there. We? Poppy was with me. Did I not mention that? No estaba con Flora's room was locked. That's normal. She usually locks it from the inside. I knocked on the door and shouted. Nobody responded. We became concerned. 
You kicked the door down? I did. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. Flora was there too, but I barely noticed her at first. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi too. Penelope arrived shortly after that, with Felix in tow. I thought that was odd. You don't normally see the two of them together. Felix took charge. There was nothing else I could do to help. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. I found her pacing back and forth around the stone square. When I approached her, well, I thought I she snapped at me. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long. But when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. Fitz's room is unlocked. It's up in the fellows. This could be. Yeah. 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 Yeah.